here we are looking for specific heat, which is C sub P. That's our unknown. Uh, so we're going to use Q equals MCAP. C sub P delta T. And let's go ahead and label our the things we know from the question. Uh, we are given the mass, that is 4 grams. <clears throat> we're given our delta T. You can calculate subtracting 274 from 314 which comes out to be a 40 degree temperature change. And what else do we know? We know Q is 32 joules. So now that we know all of this information, we can plug everything into our formula. Uh, let's go ahead and rearrange our formula slightly to solve for C sub P. So then we end up with Q over mass delta T. And now we can plug our numbers in. So Q, is 32 joules, and that is over the mass, which is 4, times the temperature change, which is 40. Okay, so in your calculator, 32 divided by 4 times 40 comes out to be 0 0.2, that is C sub P, and the units are going to follow along, sorry, I wrote that wrong, the units are going to follow just like it was in the formula. So here our units are joules per gram Kelvin. Now to continue on with this question, uh, how much energy will the same sample of glass gain when heated from 314 to 344? Well we have to remember that specific heat is a defining characteristic of any particular type of matter. So we have just identified what type of glass matter this is uh, by solving for the specific heat in the prior portion of the question. So the specific heat is going to be the same and the conditions that we're changing is the temperature. So our delta T now is the difference between 344 and 314 which is 40, I'm sorry, 30, do my arithmetic correctly, 30 Kelvin. <clears throat> Uh, this time we're going to be solving for Q, and the mass of course is the same because it's the same sample which was 4 grams. So again, using Q equals MC sub P delta T. Plug everything in. Our mass is 4. Our specific heat is 0 0.2, and our change in temperature is 30. So 4 times 0.2 times 30 is 24 and this would be in joules.